Well, welcome to another Bible Truth broadcast. Uh, I'm Evangelist Tom Gillen. I'm an itinerant evangelist that believes in expositional preaching. I like to do it line upon line, precept upon precept. I like to do it in a serious form. I like to do it with enthusiasm. It's a joy to have you on the broadcast today. I hope you have a Bible handy, notebook, something to write with. You'll find our text today in John's Gospel and uh, chapter number 5. For some time now, we've been speaking to you uh, on a little word in the, the writings of John the Beloved, uh, a little word that he uses 22 times. Uh, it is uh, the little word witness. In the original language, the little word material. Uh, it means uh, to tell or to express in words uh, what one has seen or heard. Uh, we get our little word martyr from the little word material, so it has the idea to express in words or to tell what one has seen or heard at the expense of their life. Uh, in other words, to point to the light, Jesus Christ, uh, with one's life. Now, we have been looking at it from several angles already. Uh, we looked at John the Baptist gave a witness about Jesus. On our last broadcast, we looked at Jesus uh, gave a witness about Jesus. Now today, I want to look in John's Gospel, chapter number 5, and I want us to see today that Jehovah, his Father now, gives a witness about Jesus. In John chapter 5 and verse number 19, I want to, to show us today that Jehovah will testify about his power, about the power of his Son. I notice in verse number 19 that he has resting power. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. What those things soever he doeth, these also doeth likewise the Son. The Son does nothing of himself. Uh, he only does what he sees the Father do. It speaks of his resting dependence upon the Father. It also speaks of their equality. Uh, they can do nothing independently. Independently. They always work in unison. Oh, what power is exerted in that thought. Uh, oh, how it does my heart good. This little thought, if he is dwelling in me, that means not only the power of Christ is in me, but the power of Jehovah God lives inside of me, and I too can do nothing of myself. But oh, listen to this, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. And as the old preachers used to say, I can do all things to Christ who keeps pouring his power into my life. Oh, my friend, that is resting power. I'm resting sweetly in his control and in his power. I'm glad today that I've got resting power in and through him. But I notice also in this text, in John chapter number 5, jo Jehovah, his father now, is testifying about Jesus. And he's testifying about his power. He says he has resting power. I see also that he has resurrection power. Look in chapter 5 and verse 21. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth them. 
A little word quickeneth means to raise from the dead, to give life. Even so the Son quickeneth everybody. Oh, no, 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 no. Whom he will. God the Father has conveyed resurrection power in the Old Testament to Old Testament prophets. Elijah, who raised the widow's son, and Elisha, who raised the, the Shudamite's uh, son. But here, he said that the son quickeneth. Our Lord uh, had three resurrections in his ministry. He raised Jairus' daughter. He raised the son of Nain. And he raised up Lazarus. I was uh, thinking, uh, just for a second, hold your finger there in John 5. In John chapter number 17, high priestly prayer, uh, verse number 2, he says this, As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life uh, to as many as thou hast given him. Eternal life. That little word eternal means perpetual. The little word life means breath. He is the only one that can give eternal life. Paul said in Ephesians chapter 2, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. I had an old boy one time years ago I pastored to challenge me. He said, I didn't believe man is as dead as you say he is. I asked him, I said, how dead do you think he is? He said, well, I believe man within himself has an ability to come to God. I asked him, I said, you ever studied that little word dead? He said, I don't know that I have. I said that little word dead is the word for corpse. I tell you, if you go down to the funeral home today to visit someone down there, you won't find some in one room that are half dead, some in one room that are three quarters dead, and then in the back room, they're all dead. I'm telling you, if it is a corpse, they're totally dead. Unless God come to them, they cannot come to him. He says in our text that our Lord, has resurrection power. If you're saved today, it is because God breathed into your spiritual soul life and you did live. I'm glad today I've got a salvation that is based upon the perpetual breath of God. But I see not only is it a perpetual life, but I see in John chapter 5, 28, 29, it is a phenomenal life. He says, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Oh, I'm telling you today, our Lord uh, uh, gave me physical life when I was born of my mother. He gave me positional life uh, through the new birth in 68. And one day he's going to take me into his home. And it is there that I'll have phenomenal life and uh, live with him forever. Glad I have tasted of the resting power of God. I'm glad today that I have tasted of the resurrection power of God. Back in our text now, in John chapter number 5, Jehovah now, the Father, his Father, is testifying of Jesus, testifying of his boy, and he's telling us what he has seen and heard in the power of his Son. He said he's got resting power. He's got resurrection power. Don't miss this one. He has retribution power. Look in chapter 5 and verse 22. He says, For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. 
I was interested in that little word judgment. It means punishment suitable for the action or crime done. He said he has committed all judgment unto him. That little word commit means to set up one as the administrator over a situation. Our father says he has set the son as the administrator of all judgment, damnation, and retribution. Look in our text now in verse 37. He says in verse 27, And hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. I don't know how you feel about it today. But that is a fearful thought today, to know that the one who suffered hail upon an old rugged cross is the one that will decide the final fate for sinners today. You say, how and what kind of uh, mo uh, mode or means will he use or guidelines will he use for his judgment. You got your Bible there. John's Gospel chapter 12. Once again, the Father is testifying of the Son. Look at verse 48. He that rejecteth me receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken the same shall judge him in the last days. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Our Lord said that one day, the one who has all judgment committed to him, the Son of God. He said he's going to open this book, and he said he's going to judge us out of this book. I tell you today, that gives very great credence to this book. This is the Word of God. Every word in this book is God speaking to you and I. When you and I stand before him as appointed unto man wants to die, and after this, the judgment, you can say, well, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. He'll say you had the book. He said you could have studied it and found it out for yourself. Here, Jehovah is testifying about his son. And he's testifying about his power. What kind of power does he have, preacher? He's got resting power. He's got resurrection power. He's got retribution power. I tell you today, could I insert this little thought? You know the resting power of Christ and you have experienced the resurrection power of Christ. The retribution power of Christ will never come near you. Oh, he has taken our judgment. He has taken our help. Now, our sins will have an effect upon our rewards and our fellowship with God. It will never decide our hail. Our hail has been decided at Calvary. I'm so glad of that. Well, it's been a joy to have you on the broadcast today. Let me remind you of our study website, TomGillum.com. We have Bible studies there. We have a daily devotional musing through the book of Matthew. There's a hookup to these YouTube broadcasts. Our calendar's on there. We are an itinerant evangelist. We can help you with a, a meeting. You can email me at tbgillum at aol.com. If I can ever help you with a prayer request, don't hesitate to email me, tbgillum at aol.com. Be glad to help you pray about a burden. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to us on the broadcast today.